Hello, race fans, and welcome back to the More Freedom Series. Today, we have traveled to the Texas Motor Speedway for the Texas 100. This is going to be race number 23 in the More Freedom Series Season 4, and the points race is heating up. So let's go through your current top 10. Your points leader is the double zero of Mudbone. Second place will be the 544 of Frederick Winklevom. Third will be the 20 of Adam B5000. Fourth will be the 95 of Zed Brunna. Fifth will be the... 49 at Jetman, 6th will be the 11 at TC Roberts, 7th will be the 25 at JTM, 8th will be the 203 at Signs, 9th will be the 72 of Duchess, and rounding out your top 10, the 799 of Mike Check. Is that up to fourth after last week's win? But let's check in on your team and chassis standing because that's close too. MBR still leads the way over Douche Motorsports in second. Ace of the Z Motorsports third. Amish Buggy Racing fourth. And rounding out the top five, the Drop Bear Racing team. Chassis standings look like this. Dodge, Chevy, Toyota, and Ford. So that's a look at all things points here for this Texas 100. As they get these cars dialed in, these fans are piling into the stands, and I think it's about time, so let's go racing. Let's go through your starting top 10 today for this Texas 100. Starting on the pole will be the 07 of Douche Baggins, and on his outside, the 96 of Dicko. Starting third will be the 211 of Hogs, and on his outside, the 88 of NM. Starting fifth will be the 34 of Super Snake, and on his outside, the 10 of Scooter. Starting seventh will be the 300 of Resemble, and on his outside, the 13 of King of the Aces. Starting ninth will be the 8 of Moon Bunny, and rounding out your top 10 will be the 51 of AJM. So let's look at your starting lineup for this Texas 100. We got a couple douche motorsports cars lined up on the inside there. They're in that super hot battle with MBR as he got two douche motorsports on the inside, MBR on the outside. DB's gonna be leading us down to take this green flag here today. He followed right behind that beautiful orange and black Dodge Challenger pace car. So douche motorsports currently Seven points behind MBR for the team championship, which would be wild to see if, if Douche Motorsports can pull this off. DB's leading us down. He's waiting on that green flag. It is out, and we are underway. DB already down to the bottom. He's down to the bottom of the track. We see a little bit of jockeying with the 10 of Scooter right here. DB pushing down the back stretch. Here comes that 34 of Super Snake down to the inside of the 211 of Hogs. We got Scooter 3 wide right now between the 356 and the 88 of NM. So it was the Scooter sandwich there for a second as DB leads us off at of turn four. Down across the stripe, lap number one under his belt. He leads the way here at Texas in that ghost. Ghost Energy, Rockstar Energy Chevy for Douche Motorsports. The car owner, or the team owner, the 07 of Douche Baggins leads away. Let's bring up your timing and scoring. As always, top 10 will be on your left. Favorite driver scoring across the top. Again, DB leads as the 8 of Moon Bunny, another Douche Motorsports driver down to the inside of the 34 of Super Snake. Falling right behind her is going to be the 356 of Ice Cream some days as we see those MBR cars stuck on the outside right now. So Ice Cream working down to the inside of Super Snake down the back stretch into turn three and four. As here comes your points leader, that double zero of Mudbone. He has worked in behind the 10 of Scooter. Mudbone having started in the 15th position has now worked himself into the top 10 right now. As we see Super Snake trying to get down to the bottom in front of the tennis scooter as the 96 of Nico has just absolutely battled on the outside. Let's check in on your leader, the 07. He's still way out there in front of his teammate, the 8 of Moon Bunny, as Nico is finally able to get down to the bottom of the track right there in front of the double zero of Mudbone. And the 95 of Zed Brenna, last week's winner right there, the Pink Panther into the top 10 as well. He has worked himself into the ninth position as we see JTM still falling back after having started on the outside here. So G3 is hooked up right now with the 203 of Signs working down the back stretch. 
Actually, we're onto the front stretch as we see the double zero of Mudbone in front of the battle for the tenth and ninth and tenth position between the 95 of Zed Brunna and that 40 of Veteran Chaos. So Vet down to the inside. He's going to get a little bit of a help by the 33 of Harvey Jones. It looked like the 20 of Adam B5000, third place in points, was going to try to make it three wide there. Let's get back up here to the front as we see DB still leading the way by about a fourth to a half a second. We're going to call it a half a second up on that eight of Moon Bunny. As we see the 96 of Nico down to the inside of the 10 of Scooter, we're going to see if he's going to get any help by that double zero of Mudbone as Mudbone's working down to the inside as well. So Scooter's up high, giving plenty of room to the 96 early going here at Texas as we have a 67 laps of hopefully green flag action here today. Currently on lap number seven, DB has led all of them so far. As we see the double zero of Mudbone working down to the inside now of that 10 of Scooter. He got that good draft help through the turn, able to pull down to the bottom. As we see, I thought Vet was going to try to get down to the inside of Mudbone there. Mudbone had left a little bit of a door open as they were coming through that turn, and I thought Vet was going to try to get down to the inside, but it looks like the 33 of Harvey Jones, though, he's going to work down to the inside of, the, of Vet as we get through one and two. Vet with a good run through one and two as he works off the turn. Harvey's going to stay down to the bottom with the 20 of Adam B5000. Let's check back up here at the front of the pack as we now see the 8 of Moon Bunny has closed into just about three or four car lengths to the 07 of Douche Baggins, her car owner. So DB's still leading the way here with Moon Bunny in second and Ice Cream in third and Super Snake in fourth. Rounding out the top five right now is going to be the 96 of Nico as they're lined up pretty much single file right now. Back to oh, now the 95 has fallen back a hair here as the 71 of Kung Fu Beer has now entered the fray, working his way up into the 14th or 15th position right now. So KFB with an amazing win a couple of weeks ago. First win of his career here in the More Freedom Series. Very, very much deserved. Uh, so he has worked himself up to the 14th position. Zed's not letting him get away here. We'll jump back here. We're going to see what's... Poor, poor JTM, who started top five, has just absolutely been stuck on the outside of this race the entire time. And it looks like the 211 of Hogs has the same issue as he's fallen. And, and the 300 of Resemble as they've fallen all the way to the back of the pack right now. So lots of... And I... Yeah, oh, the 88 of NM as well. So... All these cars got caught on the outside and just freight trained by the pack. So that's a tough break, honestly, tough break for the 88 of NM as he had started in the fourth position. As we now see the 34 of Super Snake down to the inside of the 356 of Ice Cream some days. Battle for third place. And we're going to see if the 96 can capitalize on this battle for third and maybe take away the fourth position from whomever whomever the loser is of this battle. Super Snake down to the stripe. He's going to have the position at the stripe as we watch the 96. Trying to work down to the bottom right here. So Nico, who started second position here today, he, he got the... He got freight trained to the back, and he has worked himself... Or not to the back, but he lost several positions on the start able to finally get down to the bottom, has worked himself into the fifth position, looking for, or actually the fourth position, looking for the third position from the 34. He's not going to give Ice Cream as much room. She's going to take it, though, down into one and two. She's dropping down to the inside. Of the 96, he's going to get a good run off of turn two, down the back stretch. She's still working, trying to get down to the inside. He is going to keep... The fourth position as we see Ice Cream, or I'm sorry, Moon Bunny, still about three, about five, six car lengths now as DB lengthens that lead just a little bit. As we see the 20 of Adam B5000 now down to the inside of the 40 of Veteran Chaos. Adam currently running 
third and points behind your leader, the double zero of Mudbone, who has contention now by the, zero, the 10 of Scooter. So Adam B5000 is about, I'm going to call it 40 points behind. It's actually like 37 points behind the, uh, no, yeah. We're going to call it 40 points behind the points lead, the double zero of Mudbone, but that's not enough positions right now to take over that points lead as we see, honestly, top three right here in the top 10 as there's now the 544 Frederick Winklevom who is only 13 points behind Mudbone as we work number, lap number 17 here. Jump back up here to the front. I think we're getting probably, we're getting pretty close to, uh, not caution flags, hopefully no caution flags. We're getting pretty close to pit stops coming up here as we work lap number 17. And I do the math, kind of doing the math in my head. We get about 12, 12 to 15 laps at a two and a half mile. And so we're, we're probably pretty close right now to pit stops here in this Texas 100 at the Texas Motor Speedway. DB working down to the turn. We'll jump back and see if he stays still out. So we see that 96 of Nico has now passed the 34 of Super Snake. So Nico, who outside pole sitter, has now worked himself, <clears throat> excuse me, back into the third position here. Super Snake with a great run through one and two as they head down the back stretch on into three and four. So this could be a great day in the, it could be a great day for Douche Motorsports as they have drivers one and two right now. As we see the 33 of Harvey Jones around that 40 of Veteran Chaos. Mudbone going to drop a couple positions here. He's going to work back. He's going to fall back into the ninth position right there in front of the 544 who is battling right now with the 10 of Scooter. A great run by that 10 as we do see pit stops on the track happening. We'll watch as the 07 of Douche Baggins brings it down pit road for his first stop of the day here on lap number 20. So if we do the math, that's going to be 20, 40, 63, potentially three stops here today by these drivers. If uh, Oh, we see the Adam B, Adam B 5000 is in. So I'm thinking it, it Mo as Moon Buddy takes over your lead here. So if we can get a couple more laps out of your car, um, you could possibly go 20, 40. It could be close at the end is what I'm saying. DB down and away. Great stop for that 07 of Douche Baggins. And the Douche Motorsports team right there as they get their driver back out. Hopefully into the lead here. As I think we're going to see the rest of the field coming in. We'll jump up here and see if we can. There was the 8 of Moon Bunny. She's got left side tires going on. She might be down and away here. She is down and away. There's the 88 of NM is in. The 96 of Nico is down and away. The 356 with a great stop. So Moon Bunny, we're gonna see where she comes out on the track in relation to that 07 of Douche Baggins. Looks like DB has a full head of steam. He's gonna be able to pass her as here comes the 20 of Adam B5000 as well. So Adam with a full head of steam. He's going to get right to the back bumper of that eight of Moon Bunny. She's going to bring it down to the inside. She's going to cut him off a little bit. That's not going to hold him up very long. As he's going to drop down to the inside and make that pass on the eight of Moon Bunny. As we see the 33 of Harvey Jones working underneath the 96 of Nico. So Nico comes into the pits in the third position. He's going to come out like... I think fifth or sixth right now. Seventh, as a matter of fact. Seventh position. So let's go through your current top ten. 
Your leader is the 07, a douchebag. And second's going to be the 20 of Adam B5000. Third will be the 34 of Super Snake. Fourth will be the 8 of Moon Bunny. Fifth currently will be the 40 of Veteran Chaos. Sixth will be, I'm going to call it the 33 of Harvey Jones. Seventh's going to be the 356 of Ice Cream some days. Eighth will be the 96 of Nico. Ninth will be the 10 of Scooter. And rounding out your top 10, oh my goodness. Look at this. Your top 10 driver now. The 25 at JTM, so JTM with an amazing pit stop gets him back into the top 10. As we saw that, he had dropped way back into the pack. So JTM and MBR worked themselves back to the top 10 here. As there's your points leader, the double zero of Mudbone, right, is running in 12th right now. As we watch the battle between the 300 of Resemble and the 544 of Frederick Winklevom. So Winkle able to move up a position here over the 300 of Resemble. Haven't talked much about the 300 of Resemble this second half of the season as he's kind of fallen back a little bit in the points. Currently running in the... Oh, I got to find him here in the list. He's running 16th in points right now. You see, I think he was down into the 20s there for a few races, so he's moved up a little bit back into the top 16. But he's, he's definitely having a better season than last season, and I believe he's got a couple wins. It Was it this season or last? I don't know. He may have won this season. He may not have. There, There's wins. He's done. Things like that. Let's move back up here towards the front as we see the 3 5 six. I'm sorry, the 96, working down to the inside of the 33 of Harvey Jones. So Harvey, I think, gives up that position to the 40 of Veteran Chaos, and the 96 of Nico is now working down to his inside. We're going to see if the 356 is going to try to make it three wide. I thought she was going to. Harvey's going to have a great run off of one and two, He's going to, or, and he's going to be able to stay in front of that 96 of Nico down the back stretch as the 356 falls in behind right there. So we'll check in on your leader, the 07 of Douche Baggins. He currently leads over that eight of Moon Bunny and that 34 of Super Snake. So Super Snake, just a highlight here, is currently working to try to get his first career win, but that's not gonna stop the eight of Moon Bunny as she works down to the inside through the front stretch. Down into one and two, Moon Bunny low, 34 is Super Snake, high for Amish Buggy Racing. The 20 of Adam B5000 slides up to the high line. I don't think that draft is gonna help that much here at Texas as it's just a super high speed track as highlighted by our current fastest lap will be by known wrecker, the 23 of Fuller Than You at 194.588 miles per hour or 27.751 seconds. So still everybody running here at the Texas Motor Speedway as we see the eight of Moon Bunny into the second position. Basically right now running block for her teammate, the 07 of Douche Baggins. DB has an amazing car underneath him here today for Douche Motorsports. And again, could be a huge huge points day for this team as they are currently fighting for the points championship with MBR. MBR has been a runaway winner with it the last three seasons and with them only up by seven points right now as we watch their highest runner, the 96 of Nico, work to the next position. He's going to take away the fifth position, fourth, I'm sorry, the sixth position. From the 33 of Harvey Jones, he's going to set his sights on the 40 of Veteran Chaos. As we see the 356 get around that 33 as well. As the 25 of JTM might have a little bit of a time right now with that 3 of Geek Girl Games. G3 trying to get back into the top 10 right now. She has had a rough go this season as she runs 17th in points. And uh, after her miraculous, miracle, just an amazing championship season last season, the three of Geek Girl Games falling back to 17th in points right now. 
I want to say miraculous. She had some awesome runs last season. As we see, JTM's probably going to go to the 12th position right there. We're going to check in on your leader, which could be the 8 of Moon Bunny as the 07 of Douchebaggins has some racing to go. He, we, I, I can't use my words. Uh, he's got some contention by the 8 of Moon Bunny. Moon Bunny's not going to be able to make that pass. She's going to fall back. He could be. I mean, we've seen in Formula One those team orders. And I'm not sure if Douche Motorsports has those team orders, but we saw Moon Bunny fall back from her car owner, the 07 of Douche Baggins right there. That is going to allow that 34 of Super Snake to catch up a little bit here. So watching this battle for the lead here on a lap number 37 between the 07 of Douche Baggins, the 8 of Moon Bunny, and the 34 of Super Snake. This is the most competition that DB has had all day here at the Texas 100 as he has led 34 of the laps, led it halfway here today. So it has been a basically a one-car show as we see a great run by that 8 of Moon Bunny down the back stretch. She's not going to try it into 3 and 4. So we're looking at lap number 38 right now. So... If the math is mathing, then the 07 of Douche Baggins should be coming in in a couple laps here. And, you know, again, we have 67 laps, so they're going to have to stop with seven laps to go here at Texas for most of these drivers. And if you can extend that, so like the 8, the 96, they went an extra lap, they went 21 laps. If they can make that to, say, 22 laps this time then they would that would put them at lap 40 43 which could potentially get them to the end of this race I mean we're talking a handful of laps right now to see who could win this race as we're going to watch that 07 of Douche Baggins and he is he's staying out for another lap here folks so DB is staying out here on lap number 40. I figured he would come in, but you got to push that fuel all the way to the end of the race. And I guess, you know, we had a pace lap and getting that full. So potentially we could be looking at 41, 42 laps, you know, all of that. Could be fuel saving right now as he's only running about 185, about 10 miles an hour off the top speed as he is staying out for another couple laps here. So I think some of these drivers are potentially going to try a two pit stop situation here. Watching to see now if DB is coming in. He's still staying out, folks. So I think we're looking at a two pit stop situation here as we're going to have about 25 laps to go. And DB has now made it 23 laps on this fuel run in front of his teammate, the 8 of Moon Bunny. So Moon Bunny could be helping him here with a little bit of a draft, just help him push him along a little bit as he doesn't come in this time. So, yeah, I think we're going to see it here, folks. There's going to be a two-pit stop affair for probably most of these drivers as the 11 of T.C. Roberts looks like he came into the pits. And heading off of one and two here. There comes that 0-7 of Douche Baggins. He's going to work down into the pits here. Gives up to the lead to the 8 of Moon Bunny. We're going to follow him through the pits. He's led 41 laps here today at Texas. And we're going to see if he can get the rest of these laps under his belt. Pull out this win. And we're going to watch him as that douche motorsports crew goes to work on this 07 Ghost Rockstar Energy Chevy. See the 25 of JTM is out. 
So DB is in. He's going to have to get all the fuel he can into that car as right side tire is going on. The 96 of Nico right there behind him is going to be a four-tire stop for the 07 of Douche Baggins. Left side tire is going on. Left side tire is going on. The 96, all the fuel going in. Here comes the 20 of Adam B5000. Here comes the 34 of Super Snake. The 96 is down and away. So DB is going to make it out not first. It looks like we might have the 34 of Super Snake with a fantastic run or a fantastic pit stop by both the 34 and the 20. As here comes the 40 of Veteran Chaos. So Vent has already pitted. The 34 is pitted. The 20 is pitted. It looks like DB might fall back the position here and we might be looking at win number three potentially for this 20 of Adam B5000. We got to see what this eight of Moon Bunny does as they're coming through the turn. She's out of the pits. As Adam B5000, I think, is going to take over your lead here. So this could be a wild show here at the end of this race as it looks like the 20 of Adam B5000 may have taken over the lead here from the 20, the 07 of Douche Baggins. Yeah, let's go through your current top 10 after those pit stops have all, uh, actually they haven't all cycled through yet as we have a few people that were still pitting. All right, now let's go. It's everything cycled through. Let's go through your current top 10. So your leader after those pit stops with already two wins here this season, looking for win number three is the 20 of Adam B5000. Third's going to be, second's going to be the 40 of Veteran Chaos. Third's going to be the 34 of Super Snake. Fourth is going to be the 07 of Douche Baggins. Fifth's going to be the 8 of Moon Bunny. Sixth is going to be the 356 of Ice Cream Some Days. Seventh is going to be the 33 of Harvey Jones. Eighth is going to be the 96 of Nico. Ninth is going to be the 10 of Scooter. And rounding out your top 10 will be the 25 of JTM. So JTM has been able to keep himself into the top 10 here, uh, which is good for him, but bad for MBR currently, as we see the double zero of Mudbone currently in the 12th position. So JTM trades those two spots back from uh, G3 and uh, Mudbone. But Mudbone, I think, could potentially lose the points lead here if Adam wins this race. And it may be close if Adam finishes second, as he's currently up about seven tenths of a second on second place, the 40 of Veteran Chaos, with about 17 laps to go here at Texas. So, an awesome turn of events has unfolded here in Texas as the 20 of Adam B5000 has taken over the lead after a fantastic pit stop by the Elliott Motorsports crew, getting him out and just having that little bit of a run starting back farther on pit road allowed him to get his car just up to speed a little bit faster than DB as well as the 34 of Super Snake and the 40 of Veteran Chaos as we see DB is now falling back to the fifth position here as Moon Bunny able to finally get around him. He's working on catching up to her as we see the 34 of Super Snake around that 40 of Veteran Chaos for the second position, but that is just allowing this 20 of Adam B5000 to make a huge gap right now. So I think the, these drivers are going to have to work together if they're going to want to catch up to the 20 of Adam B5000 before the end of this race as we see the DB trying to get down to the inside of the 40 of Veteran Chaos. Almost a little bit of contact right there. DB a little bit off the gas. He's going to lose the, just that, that momentum he has. We're going to see if he's going to fall into the clutches of the 356 of Ice Cream some days. So DB is going to get 50, 20 bonus points. He's going to get the five for leading the most laps, five for starting on the pole, five for leading the lap, and five for starting or going, leading it halfway. So 20 bonus points for him, which will be amazing for him. But 
you know, I know he was hoping for a win here today, and it looks like he might be stuck in uh, with no win as the 20 of Adam B5000 still leads by seven tenths of a second up on the eight of Moon Bunny, who, I mean, she's got an amazing car right now, and she may just run down this number 20 and pull out this win as Moon Bunny has just had a rocky season as well. She's had a rocky last couple seasons. She currently runs 23rd in points. and uh, But if she can keep it up here in the top five, as well as DB, who currently runs in the fourth position, that's going to be a huge points day for Douche Motorsports. That will catapult them back to the lead of the team points. As we see the double zero of Mudbone trying to work to catch up to the 25 at JTM. And JTM sitting in 10th position has one point for MBR right now. And with 11 laps to go, that point is in danger as we see the double zero of Mudbone trying to catch up, work to the top 10. And Moon Bunny over the last couple laps has taken that lead, the seven tenths of a second lead by Adam B5000 and made that into one or two car lengths. So we're gonna see if they pitted with 20, uh, the, uh, wait, wait. 20 laps to go or so. So we'll see if that allows them, if they got enough fuel in to get to the end of this race as we get closer to the finish with about, we're under 10 right now. So Moon Bunny has now taken that lead by the 20 of Adam B5000 and made it into a bumper's length right now as he comes down to the inside. She works down to the inside. The eight of Moon Bunny down to the inside of the 20 of Adam B5000. Could be an amazing story here today for that eight of Moon Bunny starting ninth on the day. She may be able to put this car into winners in the victory circle. And it's still a great run for that 20 of Adam B5000. He actually started in the 25th here today. As we see the 34 of Super Snake working down to the inside. And I thought that that 07 of Douche Baggins may be out of this race. But we see him now to the back bumper of that 34 of Super Snake. So Super Snake. Is going to try and make a run to the back bumper of the eight of Moon Bunny with about six laps to go here. So Super Snake around that 20 of Adam B5000. Same with the 07 and the 356. So Adam goes first to fifth in about a lap. As the 34 of Super Snake is now worked himself into. The third, the second position. I was worried there that timing and scoring had stopped working. I felt like we were on lap seven forever, with seven to go forever. But it's still working as we see the three, five, six of ice cream some days down to the inside of the zero seven of Douche Baggins. She's going to give him a little bit of room into one and two. He's got a great run through the on the front stretch. Probably that draft on the 34 of Super Snake as they currently run four tenths of a second back on the eight of Moon Bunny. So we're going to see if this 34 of Super Snake has any tires left at the end of this race for your leader, the eight of Moon Bunny. As he puts a couple car lengths on the 07 of Douche Baggins, jump back through this field as we see the 96 of Nico trying to get down to the inside of the 33 of Harvey Jones. And it does look like JTM's going to lose those two positions back to 12th again. So he's going to fall out of the top 10 here as we come to the end of this race. So that's going to break his streak of top 10 finishes. But good for your points leader. The zero, double zero of Mudbone moves him up a couple, uh, another spot into the 10th position. As the 34 of Super Snake inches ever closer to your your leader the eight of moon bunny with about three laps to go here at texas i don't know that super snake has what it takes underneath the hood of that magnum research dodge for amish buggy racing 
here today to catch up to this eight of Moon Bunny. Again, we watched her just right. Basically, I think she was just riding behind the 07 for a lot of laps, just hanging out, you know. But after that pit stop, it was full bore by your leader, the eight of Moon Bunny, as she has just a couple laps here to go. So two laps to go for your leader, the eight of Moon Bunny. She's still up by three tenths of a second, four tenths of a second right now over that 34 of Super Snake. Almost an insurmountable lead right now. We're going to see if Super Snake has anything in these last lap and a quarter. As Moon Bunny comes off of turn four, she's coming down to take the white flag here today at Texas. So Moon Bunny down into one and two, Catbird seat. Here comes that 34 Super Snake. We're gonna see if he has anything on the last, last dish, ditch effort. As we run into three and four for the final time, your leader, the eight of Moon Bunny. Off of turn four, coming to the front stretch. Your leader, the eight of Moon Bunny. She's gonna bring it down. She's gonna win another one for Douche Motorsports. So Moon Bunny pulls off an amazing win here today, coming from ninth to the top spot and getting a, a win for her and a win for Douche Motorsports, which should, which should catapult them into the points lead, the team points lead. Let's go through your finishing top 10. Again, your winner is the eight of Moon Bunny. Second's gonna be the 34 of Super Snake. Third will be the 07 of Douche Baggins. Fourth will be the 356 of Ice Cream Some Days. Fifth will be the 20 of Adam B5000. Sixth will be the 40 of Veteran Chaos. Seventh will be the 33 of Harvey Jones. Eighth will be the 96 of Nico. Ninth will be the 10 of Scooter. And rounding out your top 10 will be the double zero of Mudbone. So awesome race for the eight of Moon Bunny. Amazing race here today at Texas. But next week, we go to Kansas for the Kansas 80. So that should be a, also an awesome race next week. Let's check in on your current points as Adam had a fantastic day, but I don't know if that's enough points to take over. You're seeing those points here on the screen. Let's also check in on those team and chassis standings as I think you're seeing it that Douche Motorsports has most likely taken over the top spot in the team standings. And I think that the, sh the chassis standings are going to be close as well. So you're seeing all of that as well. Again, congratulations today to the eight of Moon Bunny. She drove a fantastic race here at Texas, led 13 laps on her way to victory. And you saw it early on before that last uh pit stop that she was right there to the back bumper that 07 to douche baggins and she had a good pit stop able to get out and i believe she came out in like the fifth or sixth position and then drove her car all the way to the front after those pit stops so congratulations today to the eight of moon bunny she is your winner here for the texas 100 and until next week at kansas take care